Merry Christmas, everyone. Uh, here's a little bit more of a serious review of a gun that I had for a little while. It's a Wasser 10 2018 production. I've done a little bit of stuff to it. So let's just take a look at what uh, what's going on with this gun. So starting up at the front, I have a Tapco. Uh, I think this is a five slot. Uh, sort of like a birdcage flash hider. It really, really does the trick. This was a very inexpensive uh, muscle device. It fits on just the same as your you know, standard AK 14 by one left hand. But these, uh, I was shooting in very low light conditions with this and it was, the, the flash were, it looked like little tiny red pencil lines at angles shooting out like a V from my sight picture which allowed me to still be able to see my target clearly at 150 yards um, perfect for low light conditions um, and uh, I'm just really pleased with it. It was very inexpensive. I think I picked this up for like 20 bucks um, you know just standard cleaning rod here but uh, uh, I have a Krebs custom flashlight mount and I'll show you that here in a sec. So here's the flashlight mount. It bands around the barrel. And as you can see, your um, cleaning rod passes through it. So it, that's what keeps it sort of level. It goes around the barrel. And then it accepts up to an inch flashlight. And uh, I think it's really slick because I know there's Ultimac rails and stuff out there. But I want to be able to disassemble my gun um, the, you know, by taking the gas tube off and whatever, um, if I have to for cleaning or if there's a rock stuck in it or something, weird shit has happened with AKs, so you never know, but that's sort of how it fits on there. There's two Allen screws there and there, and then there's one for the top that, uh, attaches the, you know, bands around the flashlight. And this is just some cheapo flashlight I got to just put in there, but... It's, it's still really cool. I would definitely suggest picking one of these Kyber Custom flashlight mounts on. I'll put, I have my WBP Fox, I'll probably put that on there. Um, or I have uh, some other plans for my Fox rifle, but I'll uh, tell you about those later. Um, moving backwards, we have just a Russian surplus sling. This is just a single point sling. It loops around the back. You know, as you can tell on the on your butt stock, comes back around, you know, fits through here and just attaches, on the, you know, on the side of your uh, sling mount. It's just a good sling to have. I've had several and they're excellent. Um, I replaced the crappy wood furniture that comes on the Wasser with um, Arsenal polymer stuff. So this has a stainless steel heat shield. This is just a polymer upper handguard um, and a polymer lower handguard. Really comfortable palm swells. Very light. Um, that's what I wanted, was just light. Um, so yeah, that's uh, the handguards, nothing special there. Just, you know, the polymer, good quality stuff. I got a WBP mag. Uh, this is a really excellent magazine. It's made basically the same way as the uh, Archer mags or the uh, FB Radom Boreal mags, so that's uh, really cool stuff. Um, up top here, we have an aperture sight. This is made by GG and G. Um, it's good up to a thousand meters, just the same way as your Wasser 10 is. But I'll just show you the difference um, between the two. It's really quite astounding. All right, so I'm cocking this a little bit so you can tell just sort of what the sight picture is a little bit off to the side. Um, you can see the rear sight on the left. It's just a notch and then your front sight up there on the right is you know your post so roughly speaking this is kind of your sight picture right here if I'm shooting at that uh, pedestal right there kind of a rough sight I'm okay with AK sights but anything at past 300 yards I'm you know struggling to hit so you know I know that's what the AK was designed for but let me show you this new sight I got so now you can see I have an aperture in the rear 
and you know standard front post in the back and let's uh, take a look how that is much clearer I mean if I'm aiming at that target right there it's way clearer I would highly recommend people get these um, it doesn't adjust your you know your point of aim at all because it's you know the same position as your rear sight was um, I even took calipers and they're the same length um, but what it does allow for you to do is, uh, is shoot at distance with an iron sight similar to an AR-15. Now I know there are some people um, who really despise these. Um, you know, I can understand the concern that, oh, it's not the same as your regular AK sights, but I'll be honest, I'm an AK guy, but uh, AK sights, um, there, there, you know, there's a lot to be desired, and I think the aperture system uh, that the Americans and you know the people who use peep sights, Americans in particular, that's a more advantageous sight picture. Having a peep with a post, that's just a really makes a lot of sense. So I put that on my gun. This was a gift from my wife for Christmas, and uh, yeah, I'm really excited about it. So moving back, I've got a WBP extended paddle mag or uh, safety lever so what this is on a standard AK you've got just a lever uh, sort of a ridge right there that you can hold on to and it slides down and you basically you have to manipulate your entire hand out to touch that to pull it down well with this you can just keeping your hand in the shooting position you can slap that down with your index finger and I'll show you that here in a sec so uh, here we go Here's the extended lever, you know, I can just pull it with my finger. Of course, I can't do it right now, but there you go. So, if I have to do, you know, fast gun up, I can do that, and then with my finger, I can just push it up. It's kind of hard to do without, you know, having your finger in the right position, but you can see how much easier that is. I can just pull it down with my finger. So, that's that. WBP makes really good stuff, um, and this is their safety selector lever. So I was very excited to get it. It's still a little stiff, so you know, with with work, I'll just loosen that up a little bit. But that's sort of how it looks. Um, and then finally, we have our buttstock. This is just an Arsenal polymer buttstock. You know, it's good quality. Um, I know a lot of people trade out, you know, their buttstocks for this, but or th this for other butt stocks, but these are nice and light and uh, really cool, you know, polymers, easy to paint on and stuff. So, yeah, that's just this, uh, you know, was uh, Warsaw length butt stock. And just a regular old knife handle pistol grip. Um, you know, I like the way the standard AK grips feel. They feel like I'm holding a knife in my hand. So, that's, uh, that's that. And then in the back, you know, just a regular. I got a cleaning kit in the back, but you know we'll we'll get that out here in a sec. And there it is, just sticking out. So that just fits in the back. It just pops in. Let's see if I can do it one hand. There you go. So that's it. That's uh, my f fighting rifle so far. This does have a side mount for a scope rail, which I have a Midwest Industries. Uh, scope rail I could put on there but I think I'll just keep it off I think this will just be my sort of you know iron sight gun but it'll be a little bit tricked out um, I'm very excited about this gun um, so what I did with this paint job is I started out with a base uh, with 500 degree heat resistant primer all over the gun you know I, I stripped it down took all the internals out and stuff that's why my bolt carrier is still black and you know these firing pins are still black trigger still black is because I took those all out with an AK it's all right to paint inside the receiver because it's just such loose tolerances it doesn't matter um, I uh, took the safety off and painted that separately and all that and the rear sight you know still functioned after I painted it it's no big deal but painted the whole thing in gray primer heat resistant up to 500 degrees and then I did a base coat of tan 
as you can see the tan color right there the whole thing in tan and then what I did was I taped off a spiraling stripe all the way over the gun to keep that tan color protected just a big spiral stripe and what that'll do is simulate uh, tall grass where I live there's sort of cornfields and tall grass areas um, basically grass everywhere so it kind of gives breaks up the pattern a little bit uh, with the tan grass color um, which you know will help with with uh, you know disguising my position and then uh, after I taped off all that tan I used a mint green color and painted the whole thing uh, sort of a, a mint grayish green color and and uh, after I did that I took a dark gray as you can see right there with a and I sprayed it onto a brush and splotched the whole gun with a paintbrush and what that did was it gave it a texture I don't know if you can see it it gave it a texture on the surface of the rifle which helps break up the sheen of the gun so it's not as glossy you can see how it, it that stippling made it uh, made it a rougher texture and it helps you know grip the gun it's nice to hold on to um, and then I took this uh, corrugated uh, perforated steel plate and covered the gun with it and, oh, it wasn't a steel plate it was this packing material that had uh, like thousands and thousands of little diamond shaped holes in it and I, and I wrapped the whole gun in those diamond shaped holes and so you can see when I sprayed my brown I went in little stripes and striped brown over the whole gun and that sort of helps break up the uh, color and makes it a little bit more brown there's a lot of trees and a lot of uh, grays and greens and browns around where I live so I wanted to put a little bit of brown on it and it really I think it does a lot to help break up the color so that's my Wasser so far. I think I'll just kind of keep it uh, this way for a little while. I'm very pleased with it so far, especially that sight. I really think that's a great, uh, great aperture sight. I highly recommend aperture sights on AKs. I, I know that there are a lot of expert shooters who don't agree with that, but you know, it really does. I think it does open up your sight picture a lot and helps you hit stuff farther out with just iron sights. So uh, yeah, that's my uh, fighting rifle, Wasser 10, uh, 2018 production, um, painted up and tricked out a little bit. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.